This is me getting ready for school a year after the global pandemic. I put my uniform on, grab all the necessities, and after I'm ready to start my day, I am heading back to my room. Since we're practicing flexible learning, combination of both online and in-person studying that has reasonably become a brand new way of getting education in a post-pandemic world. This is a very innovative approach to post-COVID studying, although there are some issues. First and foremost, being stuck within four walls during pandemic negatively affected many students' mental well-being, so anxiety and high stress level are very common among teenagers. That is why many students find it difficult to go back to in-person studying. Apart from that, a rapid shift to distance learning lowered the quality of students' education and now they need to catch up with the lost knowledge. However, despite all the difficulties of post-COVID studying, it has created brand new trends regarding online education. Nowadays, remote studying makes education even more accessible, since geographical borders are not an issue. This means that more people now have an opportunity to study and get higher education. Apart from that, a flexible learning system created an opportunity for every student to make their personal adaptations convenient to their learning style to make studying way more productive. By the way, these rapid changes in the studying process have sparked a deeper conversation about students' mental health. Schools are now hiring mental health providers and therapists to help students with their anxiety. Yes, flexible education in a post-COVID world truly is a revolution in the making that leaves no one behind and makes studying even more efficient.